uh, let's discuss a few more problems on the Newton's law of cooling. An object whose temperature is 75 degrees Celsius cools in an atmosphere of constant temperature 25 degrees Celsius at the rate of k theta. So, theta being the excess temperature of the body over that of the temperature after 10 minutes, uh, the temperature of object falls to 65 degrees Celsius. Finally, temperature after 20 minutes also find the time required to cool down to 55 degrees Celsius. So, here for we have to find out the temperature when the time is 20 minutes and we should also find out the time when the temperature is uh, 55 degrees Celsius. So, here we have the two questions in one question. So, these type of questions can be asked for the 10 marks. So, let's see here. Let theta be the temperature of body at time t and theta not be the temperature of the surrounding medium. So, theta not is a surrounding medium. By the Newton's law of cooling, we have theta is equals to theta not plus c into e power minus kt and let this be equation be as equation number 1. So, given that theta is equals to 25 degrees Celsius. So, here cools in an atmosphere, atmosphere of constant temperature. So, atmosphere of constant temperature is nothing but the temperature of the air is 25 degrees Celsius. So, here the theta naught is equals to 25 degrees Celsius which is surrounding medium, temperature of the surrounding medium. So, substitute this theta naught in the equation number 1. Then you will get theta is equals to 25 plus c into e power minus kt and let this be as equation number 2. So, originally the air theta is e t is equals to 0, theta is equals to 75 degrees Celsius. So, a object whose temperature is 75 degrees Celsius. So, initially the temperature of the object was 75 degrees Celsius. So, in, we are taking initially and let us assume the time be 0 minutes. So, let at uh, time t is equals to 0, theta is equals to 75 degrees Celsius. Now, substitute this in equation number 2. So, where theta is 20, 75, so 75 is equals to 25 plus c into e power minus k into 0. So, send this 70, 25 to the left hand side, then 75 minus 25 is equals to c into e power 0 into minus k is 0. So, 75 minus 25 is 50 and that equals to c into e power 0 value is 1. So, c into 1 is c. So, the c value is 50 degrees. Now, we have to get the k value. Now, now substitute c value into a second equation. So, that is theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus kt. Now, let this be as equation number 3. Now, in the second condition, the given that after 10 minutes, the body cool down to the 65 degrees. It means the body cool down to 65 degrees in 10 minutes. So, that is at time t is equals to 10, theta is equals to 65 degrees Celsius. Now, substitute this value in equation number 3, you will get the value of k. So, substitute in th third equation. So, theta is 65 is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus k into t, uh, t value is 10. So, send this 25 to the left hand side. 65 minus 25 is equals to 50 into e power minus 10k. So, 65 minus 25 is 40, that equals to 50 into e power minus 10k. Now, send this 50 to the left hand side, then it goes into the denominator. So, 40 by 50 is equals to e power minus 10k. So, 40 by 50 nothing but 4 by 5 is equals to e power minus 10k. Now, when we remove the exponential here, you will get the logarithm. So, logarithm of 4 by 5 is equals to minus 10k. So, from this k value is minus 1 by 10 into log of 4 by 5. So, this is the value of k. Now, the first condition, first at first we had to find out the temperature when the time is 20 minutes. So, here from equation 3 we have theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus kt. Now, substitute the k value in this equation, in third equation. Uh, we, and we have to substitute the p value also then we will get the theta value so theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus of k value is minus 1 by 10 log of 4 by 5 into t value is 20 so theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus into minus is plus and here 20 is multiplying with this whole function not with the logarithm so when it's multiplying with the whole function 
then 20 by 10 into log of 4 by 5. So theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power 20 by 10 is 2 into log of 4 by 5. And here theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power log of 4 by 5 whole square. By using the formula m log x is equal is equals to this can be written as log x power m so theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into 4 by 5 whole square so we know that e power log x power n can be written as x power n so here also the same e power log of 4 by 5 whole square can be written as 4 by 5 whole square so theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into 4 by uh, 4 square is 16 and in the denominator 5 square is 25 so theta is equals to 25 plus 2 into here 25 2 is 50 and into 16. So theta is equals to 25 plus 32 and then theta is equals to 57 degrees Celsius. So this is the value of theta. Now at, uh, the, in second condition we have to find out the time when temperature is 55 degrees Celsius. So at theta is equals to 55 degrees Celsius we have to find out the T value. So same similarly from the equation 3 theta is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus kt now substitute the k value and substitute this theta value so that is 55 is equals to 25 plus 50 into e power minus of k value is minus 1 by 10 log of 4 by 5 into t value so that is t so send this 25 to the left hand side 55 minus 25 is equals to 50 into e power minus into minus is plus into 1 by 10 log of 4 by 5 into t so 55 minus 25 is 30 that equals to 50 e power t is multiplying with this whole function. So t into 1 by 10 that is t by 10 into log of 4 by 5. So send this 50 to the left hand side 30 by 50 is equals to e power t by 10 log of 4 by 5. So 3, 30 by 50 nothing but 3 by 5 and that equals to e power t by 10 log of 4 by 5. Now here when we remove the exponential this is a whole function when we remove the exponential here you will get the logarithm so logarithm of 3 by 5 is equals to 10 by 10 uh, sorry t by 10 log of 4 by 5 now from this we can write t is equals to 10 into log of 3 by 5 and send this uh, logarithm 4 by 5 to the right hand side so that is log of 4 by 5 so t, t is equals to 10 log of 3 by 5 divided by log of 4 by 5 so find out the value of log of 3 by 5 and log of 4 by 5 and multiply with it with 10 so then you will get the t value as 22.89 minutes so when temperature is 55 degrees then t value will be 22.89 minutes approximately you can write 23 so in this way you will find out the uh, uh, theta value when t is given and t value when theta is given so this is a combination of two questions this can be asked for the 10 marks now let's see one more question so here an object cools from 120 degrees fahrenheit to 95 degrees fahrenheit in half an hour then surrounded by air whose temperature is 70 degrees fahrenheit find its temperature at the end of the another half an hour so here the object is cooling from the 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit in half an hour. Half an hour nothing but 30 minutes. Now surrounded by air whose temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It means the temperature of the surrounding air, surrounding medium is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have to find out the temperature at the end of another half an hour. Another half an hour nothing but first time that is half an hour plus one more half an hour we have to add. It means 30 plus 30. Half an hour plus half an hour nothing but 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. So 30 plus 30 is 60 minutes. It means 1 hour. So in another, uh, so at the end of 1 hour we have to find out the temperature. So time will be 60 minutes and the temperature we have to find out. So let theta be the temperature of body at time t and theta not be the temperature of the surrounding medium. So by theta, uh, by Newton's law of cooling, we have the theta is equals to theta naught plus c into e power minus kt, and let this be as equation number one. So given theta naught is equals to seventy five degrees Fahrenheit, given that surrounded by air whose temperature is seventy degrees Fahrenheit, 
Now substitute this in the equation 1. You will get theta is equals to 70 plus c into e power minus kt. And let this be as equation number 2. So originally at time t is equals 0, theta is equals to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So given that the temperature initially it was 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So we don't know the time. We have to assume the time t as 0. So originally at t is equals 0, theta is equals to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now substitute these values in equation number 2. So 120 is equals to 70 plus c into e power minus k into 0. So send this 70 to the left hand side. 120 minus 70 is equals to c into e power minus k into 0 is 0. So 120 minus 70 is 50 and c into e power 0 value is 1. So 50 is equals to c. The value of c is 50. Now we have to get the k value. So to get the k value we have to substitute the c value in equation number 2. Substitute it, you will get theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power minus kt b as equation number 3. Second condition, when the body, nothing but the object cools from, cools down to 95 degrees Fahrenheit in half an hour. So in half an hour, nothing but 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, the body is cooled down to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Now theta is equals to 95 degrees and t is equals to 30 minutes. Substitute the values in third equation. Then we will get the k value. So that is at t is equals to 30, theta is equals to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Substitute in 3, we will get 95 is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power minus k into 30. Send this 70 to the left hand side. 95 minus 70 is equals to 50 into e power minus 30k. 95 minus 70 is 25 is equals to uh, 50 into e power minus 30k. So 25 by 50 is equals to e power minus 30k. And 25 by 50 is 1 by 2. That equals to e power minus 30k. So when we remove the exponential here. Then you will get the logarithm. So that is log of 1 by 2 is equals to minus 30k. So k is equals to minus 1 by 30 log of 1 by 2. So this is the value of k. So we have to find out the temperature when t, t is another half an hour so another half an hour i told you that first time that is first half an hour plus one more half an hour so 30 plus 30 is 60 minutes now t is 60 minutes and theta we have to find out so theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power minus of minus 1 by 30 log of 1 by 2 into 60 so theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power minus into minus is plus and 60 by 30 into log of 1 by 2 so six, theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power 60 by 30 is 2 log of 1 by 2. Then theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power m log x can be written as log x power m. So that is log of 1 by 2 whole square. Then theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into e power log of 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4. Now theta is equals to 70 plus 50 into 1 by 4. We know that e power log of f of x can be written as f of x. So theta is equals to uh, 50 into by 4 and plus 70. So theta you will get it as 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the temperature when the time is 60 uh, another half an hour. So this is somewhat difficult problem. Here you need to understand that theta is not half an hour. It is half an hour plus half an hour. That will be 60 minutes. So this is one of the important question because somewhat tricky is there here. So such type of questions you will get in exam. Let's say three questions. I gave it with answers. You solve it on your own. So here are the three important questions. Let's look into this. If air is maintained at 20 degrees Celsius at the temperature of the body cools from 100 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius in 10 minutes. Find the temperature of the body after 20 minutes and find the temperature will be and find time when temperature will be 45 deg 40 degrees Celsius. So at first theta naught is 20 degrees. And by using the first condition you will get C is equals to 80 degrees. And the K value will get minus 1 by 10 log of 3 by 4. And find temperature when the body, uh, the body after 20 minutes. So T is 20 and temperature will you will get answer as 65 degrees Celsius. Then and temperature will be 45 degrees. So time you will get it as 48.18 minutes. And one more question. The temperature of the body drops from 100 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius in 10 minutes. 
So initially temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. At time t is equal to 0. After 10 minutes the temperature is 75 degrees Celsius. When the surrounding air is, in, air is at 20 degrees Celsius, t turn out is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. What will be its temperature after half an hour? After half an hour what will be the temperature after 30 minutes? So temperature is as 45.99. 0 celsius sorry 45.99 degrees celsius then when will be the temperature will be 25 degrees so we have to find the time when temperature is 25 degrees celsius so time you will get 73.99 approximately you can take 74 minutes so these are the c value and the k value then last question a temperature of cup of coffee is 92 degrees celsius when freshly poured the room temperature being 25 degrees Celsius. In one minute, it, it, it will be cool to 80 degrees Celsius. How long a period must elapse before the temperature of the cup becomes 65 degrees Celsius? So, time we have to find out temperature is given here. So, these all questions are very important. And these are the most repeated in exams. Practice these problems compulsorily. And you will get at least two questions from this Newton's law of cooling topic. Thank you.